Department of Earth Sciences in collaboration with Center for Dialogue and Reconciliation, New Delhi released a report on September 2014 floods in Kashmir. The function was held in the AMMRC auditorium. Speaking on the occasion, Head Department of Earth Sciences, Professor Shakil Ahmed Ramshu, explained the reasons for 2014 floods. What happens in Srinagar when it reaches to Pampur? The almost in Sangam in South Kashmir, it is on an average 135 meter of width and it narrows down in the Srinagar. So in Srinagar, it has to overflow. When it reaches to the, the capacity of the river in Sri, around Srinagar is 35,000 cusacks. And you had a water of 1,20,000 or so. So it has not only to, you know, separate, it will just overflow these banks. And when there are these weakening poor, you know, by, by, they have to breach and it entered into the city. Now, this is what I was saying, that if you look into the very north to Sangam, you have still very high gradient, but if you look from Sangam to Ram and Shibak, this is just you know, at the most 7-8 meter gradient. And if you look at the Ram and Shibak to Volar, it is 18 meter gradient. He cautioned people that the past records of the great floods suggest that another inundation of the place is inevitable. When you look at the data now, uh, down, whenever there was a flood, high magnitude flood, there was a flood next year or year next. This is data. The reason being you have high groundwater levels and the image I showed you about that snow cover. So even if it will not rain, you will see that the discharge in the rivers will be very high with the as the temperature increases. So these two things contribute to the uh, in increasing discharge in that. Executive Director CDR Sushoba Barve said that one cannot overlook the fact that the developmental projects that have been carried out in Kashmir are one of the reasons for the September 2014 floods. There were people, experts, who also said that even the highways in the way they have been built have also caused a problem. Four-lane, uh, road network in this state I don't think is a wise one uh, because we are blasting away and destroying the forests and nothing is you know being replaced uh, so we need need to have a public discussion on this uh, so that wise decisions are taken for the present and for the future re-looking at all the development projects in the state uh, which must include as part of the planning and designing uh, environmental impact of those projects. Is there training given at the community level for disaster management? A question answer session also followed.